Ladies and gentlemen, introducing our 2019 California Russell Hall of Fame inductee, Mr. Mr. Keith Pizarro. His presenters are former team and assistant coach, Mr. Ruben Tamayo. Keith, a true pioneer in the wrestling ranks. Current Menlo College Vice President for Admissions and Athletics has left his mark on the sport of wrestling nationwide and most notably in the Bay Area. With a combined 18 years and 24 seasons of coaching experience at both the high school and collegiate levels, Keith has blazed a trail of success that has led to the countless awards and accolades for both him and those that he has coached and mentored. A Florida native and as an athlete, Keith made the long trek west to become a conference and regional champion as well as a two-time community college All-American at Skyline College. It was, on a, it was also a conference champion, regional champion, and two-time All-American at San Francisco State. At both Skyline and San Francisco State, he was the, named the team captain and awarded the team most valuable wrestler award. As a coach, and beginning back in 1990, his teams, which included San Mateo High School, Skyline College, and Menlo College, he won three league titles, two conference titles, four regional titles, and were NIA national runner-ups in 2004. He was named the Coach of the Year on seven different occasions. His athletes garnered many awards to include 18 academic All-Americans, 35 regional champions, 25 JC State place winners, three JC State champions, 51 All-Americans, and six national champions. In addition to his coaching career, Keith has been actively, heavily involved in other aspects of wrestling to include camp director, head clinician, and site administrator for six different camps and clubs, served seven years as the International Exchange Director of California USA Wrestling, is a tournament director for annual tournaments and camps at Menlo College, as well as experience with running events like the Pac-10 Wrestling Championships, NIA West Regional, NC2A Division II West Region Championship, and he currently serves as the NIA NAC Wrestling Sport Liaison and was chair of the Wrestling Membership Growth Committee in the NIA, which has seen more than 50 programs added in the last 15 years. Keith became Director of Athletics at Menlo College in 2008 and has guided the department to new heights. He was recognized twice as Cal PAC Conference Athletics Conference Director of the Year as well as Under Armour Athletic Director of the Year by National Association of Collegiate Directors of Athletics. Well, Keith, here we are again to recognize you for California and this time in the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. Congrats, ladies and gentlemen, inducted in the 2018 California Wrestling Hall of Fame, Mr. Keith Pataro. Thank you. Uh, the writer William, Ward, William Arthur Ward once wrote, feeling gratitude and not expressing it is like wrapping a present and not giving it. So if I may, I'd like to spend a few moments to express my most humbled appreciation for this night and all that got me here. You see, this award is about so many others besides me. First, I would like to thank my presenter, Ruben Tamayo, who has been by my side through it all as a teammate, as an assistant coach, and most importantly, as a friend. I thank you, Ruben, for all the incredible years we've shared together. To the selection and event committee for all they have done to put this fabulous event on tonight and for recognizing me amongst so many great, past and present. To my friends and family that are here tonight, for those that wish they could have been. To my teammates and training partners, some of those that are here tonight, Simon Kiefer and Tony Jones, to name a few. For my coaches, Matt Blevin, who I share the stage with this evening, and for Coach Lars Gentian for giving me the opportunity to pursue my dreams. I thank all of my former athletes for giving me all they had and for their everlasting friendship and loyalty. I thank my mother for demonstrating through raising four boys much on her own that anything could be done. I thank my father for teaching me the essence of competition. I love you both very much. For my uncle who introduced me to this amazing sport and for my brothers who were there with me throughout. To my beautiful and extraordinary wife who has changed my life. She has shown me to appreciate life every moment as if it was the last. Shannon, you truly are the most amazing person I know and such an inspiration to our four incredible children. Thank you for all you do and all you are. 
I love you. To all my wrestling mentors, to all my wrestling mentors through the year, Coach Alan Abraham, Coach Don Wright, Coach Bill Grant, Coach Jim Root, Pat Lovell, Charles Douglas, and Lynn Dyke. These are just a few men that helped shape and develop my leadership skills, and I will forever be grateful for that. And finally, I want to give the most heartfelt and sincerest appreciation to Coach Lee Allen. Coach served as my guiding light for much of my adult life, and much of I, who I am today is through his teachings. Coach, I love you, I miss you, and I'll forever be in your debt. I'm so honored to be here tonight, and more to be recognized for my contributions to and my success in this amazing sport. Wrestling, as I say, is like no other. I've scored touchdowns, game-winning shots, home runs, but nothing compares to the feeling I had in winning a wrestling match. You see, my career wasn't the norm. I only wrestled a year and a half in high school. I didn't have a thousand matches going into college. It was more like 50-something. That lack of matches provided the fuel to, addiction, to an addiction for this sport post high school years. As Ruben can attest, we never had an off season in college. We traveled all over the states and around the globe, training and finding competition wherever we could. As you see, I had a lot of catching up to do. I've always been intrinsically motivated, not to really win awards or be inducted into Hall of Fames, but because I aspired to be successful in everything I did, and I owe a lot of that to wrestling. When I was first introduced to wrestling at 10, my uncle would pick me up and take me to tournaments. The only practices that we would have is right after weigh-ins. Needless to say, that wasn't a good model. To put it into context, I lost the first 15 or so matches I wrestled, and I wanted to quit really bad. But my uncle said, you can't quit <clears throat> until you win your first match. Well, I'm here to say that after I won that first match, it truly was one of the most incredible feelings I'd ever experienced. The virtues that I learned through wrestling, primarily perseverance, is something that would stick with me throughout my life. I have overcome death, I've overcome unemployment, divorce, poverty, sickness, all because, of, all because of perseverance learned through wrestling. I truly believe that everyone should be exposed to this unbelievable sport. The humbleness of being at center mat and losing is extraordinary. It's extraordinarily inspiring. I often tell people there's only two ways you lose in life. One is you weren't prepared enough and it ought to inspire effort. And two is you weren't good enough and it ought to inspire effort. Each of my losses, in its own way, built the man I am today. It's not that I never failed, but when I did fail, I got back up and succeeded. And that's what wrestling taught me. Simply put, losing in wrestling taught me to win both on and off the mat. In closing, I have to say how much I truly love this sport, how proud I am to have served it, and will forever honor it. I am humbled beyond belief to be nominated for and selected into the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. I applaud and appreciate each of my fellow inductees, as well as those who contributed to this award, and to all those honoring us here tonight. I pray for all safe travels home, and wish you all the very best in the future. Thank you, and good evening. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Keith Spataro.